Amos chapter 1. The words of Amos, who was among the herdmen of Tokia. Now Amos runs like Joe. But Amos is from Judah. And he's going to preach to Israel. North. Joel preaches to Judah south. And the message is, it is the same. It's, you sinning against God, you better repent before the axe falls. Which he saw concerned to Israel, that's north, in the days of Isaiah, the king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, the king of Judah. Now, Uzziah was 792 to 740 B.C. Jeroboam too, there was another one, was 793 to 753 B.C. So we have a date. Two years before the earthquake. Now whatever this, this earthquake is, it's written down that, hey, in the year of Amos, the writing, two years later, there was an earthquake, of all earthquakes, that it was recognizable. It doesn't tell us, you know, which they didn't have the earthquake scale, but Israel, Judah, they do get earthquakes in those regions. And he said, The Lord will roar from Zion, second advent, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. That's Judah. The heavens of the shepherd shall mourn. The habitations of the shepherd. What's going on? The shepherds are not doing what they're supposed to be doing, like the pastors today are not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They're hireling. The benefit of the sheep is for the shepherd, not the shepherd for the benefit of the sheep. If the shepherds of Israel, I'm talking about all of Israel and Judah, really cared and really concerned, they would have been prepared the people not to crucify Jesus, but to receive him as their Messiah. The people believed on Jesus and followed Jesus until the Sadducees and the Pharisees and the scribes turned the people away. That's what's going on in the church age today. And the top of Carmel shall wither. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions Sin, trespasses of Damascus. Now, Damascus is up north. Paul was on the road to Damascus. And four. Right, here's three, and here's four. I will not turn away the punish thereof. So Damascus got to the point, you know what? You crossed the line. And you're going to get it. Because they had threshed Gilead with a threshing instrument of iron. And this, is, this is like a judgment. And what they would do in threshing is they would throw all the grain in the threshing floor they would ride a cart and break up the grain, the chaff from the from the wheat. So 
and it pitches a lot of time with that threshing floor pitchers judgment. And God's like, you're going too far. You, you put these people to the worst. You're going to reap what you sow. And that's not good. God's watching. Especially his people. I will send a fire. You're going to find it. You're going to run through the chat. I'm going to send a fire. He's in the house of Hazel. This is the ruler. We shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad. Now these are the, the titles of rulers. That's some of the things in the Bible. You, you think it may be a name. In actuality, it's a title like Pharaoh. You can't go in Egyptian history and say, well, uh, I'm looking for the Pharaoh. <laughs> There's a lot of them. And knows how God runs right to the leadership. I will break the bar of Damascus, and that's the, the bars and, and the locks of the gates. It could be like a rebar. You know, when Israel made the bricks, Pharaoh said, I'm not going to give you no more straw. The straw is used for rebar. Strengthening the clay for, for making the bricks. They use a rebar and cement, strengthening. Or it could be that lock in the gate. I will cut off the inhabitant from the plain of heaven. And him that holdeth the scepter, that's a ruler, from the house of Eden. And the people of Syria... No, that Syria, they're, they're still around. Shall go into captivity unto Kerr, saith the Lord. Well, that's up north. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions uh -oh, of Gaza. That's down south, west. That's the most southern part of Israel along the Mediterranean Sea. There's, there's, there's a river there. I'm trying to see if my Bible has a, it says Bezor. But I mean, any map will show you Gaza. That's Philistine territory. So we've gone from north to Southwest and four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Because they carried away captive the whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom. This will be Israel. And the thing of Israel is if you curse, I'll curse you. Those these are enemies of Israel, as Edom, the brother of Jacob. Those two brothers, Esau, Edom, he has never gotten rid of that anger. Though to a point, maybe for an instant, it looked like between Esau and Jacob, there were when Jacob returned, there was friendship. But when you last left Jacob, he promised Esau, well, let me go slow. I'll meet up with you. And Jacob went another way.
I will send a fire on the wall of Gaza, which shall devour the palaces there. And notice how three or four transgressions, the punishment, a fire, a wall, or a bar, and palaces. I will cut off the inhabitants of Ashdod. That's one of the Philistine main cities. And him that holds the scepter, there's the scepter again of Ascalon. The rulership. You know, the President of the United States doesn't have any authority as symbol of his power. That queen, they're having the Jubilee, I think it was the Silver Jubilee, or maybe flattened by now. But she's got the, she can wear the crown. This is the Queen Mother. She's got all the, 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 the hosts of the military all dressed. Well, what do you say? I mean, there's a presidential limousine, big deal. The Oval Office, well, you can't take that out in the streets. Oh, he wears a suit. A used car salesman wears a suit. I will turn my hand against Ekron, another city in Philistine. And the remnant of the Philistines shall perish. Alright, in the future there will be no Philistines. That area that we're talking about now, Gaza, they're still attacking Israel. They were once the PLO, and I don't know what they are today. Say it the Lord God. Let's say it the Lord, the Lord. For three transgressions of Tyrus, now we're going up the sea coast. We are now going north west. You get in your little car, your little boat, you drive up. You are the northern coast. The Phoenician area of the Mediterranean Sea in the land of Israel. You're up by, to, to the west of this is Dan. You realize if Israel would have done their job, as God told Moses and told Joshua, we would not have had to worry about Gaza or Tyre. So far, they would have been wiped off. You know, David fought against the Philistine. Saul fought against the Philistine. They were supposed to be dead in Joshua. But, and four, three and four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Cities are numbered. America will reach her point. We're talking about we're getting get, we're getting rid of Roe versus Wade. Well, that's not going to start. I mean, that's not going to stop the abortions. They're still going to happen. They just won't be legalized for a period of time before it comes back. But we've entered into June. In June, we are into gay sodomite. They don't call it sodomite. I call it sodomite. Pride Month. Friend, that was an abomination just as much as murder. You know, people, we know that David murdered and committed uh, adultery. We know that. David confessed the sin. God forgive. But you know, there are people trying to say that David committed sodomy with Jonathan. Not true. Because they delivered up the whole captivity of Edom. To Edom, excuse me. Um, like Gaza. Look how Edom keeps getting involved. And there's a whole book dedicated to Edom. 
I think it's Obadiah. And remember not the brotherly covenant. That brotherly covenant is the Jacob. Now we're talking about Israel. What happened in Judah is when Babylon and the, Chal and the Chaldeans came, when Judah fled, Edom caught them and took them captive and brought them to Babylon. Maybe for a price. Israel is, Edom is getting in there, the enemies of Israel are selling the Jews to the Edomites, including maybe slavery, but they're selling the Jews out. They're making them captives, they're making them slaves. They're overpowering them. But I will send a fire, there's that fire on the wall of Tyrus. Tyrus is gone, has been attacked twice by Nebuchadnezzar and Alexander the Great and devoured the palaces thereof. I will send a oh wait, and thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Edom. Now we're down southeast south of the Dead Sea down by the western border of Judah. There is no River Jordan down this way. This wilderness. Desert. And for four, I will turn not turn away the punishment thereof. There it is again. Because he pursued his brother with a sword. War. Silver. Civil war. Not civil war. Civil war. You know, you talk about the American Civil War. How often do the churches talk about the Civil War between Israel and Judah? Many of them. And it's written in the scriptures. This king of Judah had war with the king of Israel all their life. That's a civil war. Here is brother against brother again. <laughs> It's all brother against brother. Except for the Philistines because they are of Ham. Genesis chapter 10. And cut off all pity. They were vicious. They were wild. They were brutes. They are animal-like. And the anger did tear perpetually. What's that? Per that, that that's all he goes back to Edom. Friend, I don't care what the preachers say. All right, yeah, Jacob was a surplanter. Esau did not have to sell that birthright. But he did. And selling that birthright, Rebecca did not have to step in and deceive Jake, uh, uh, Isaac. Come on, you telling me that God would not maybe had Esau when he went out to get the, the venison? Maybe if there was not that plan in the kitchen, maybe God would have had a bear attack Isaac and the news would have came back? Does that sound familiar? Isaac? Yes? We found your son. He's he dead. He's been attacked. Then that birthright would have passed on to Jacob. Because when, when Reuben sinned against his father and, and sleeping with his wife, the Bible says that that birthright would have gone to Joseph. That was the next firstborn son. But it went to Judah 
because Judah prevailed. God would have taken care of it had not Rebecca been stewing and cooking up some meat in the kitchen. And the problem with that is, Rebecca said, you know, Jacob says, what if daddy curses me? Rebecca says, let his curse be upon me, son. Yeah. Well, son, when your brother's anger is gone, I'll send for you. Oh, no, you won't. God told Jacob, all right, head, start heading home. Rebecca was not there. Now, yes, Esau was mad enough to kill that, that Jacob had to leave. Notice Rebecca sends Jacob off, but it was her fault. When Jacob comes back, he's afraid of Esau, and he sends off these groves and presents, if you remember. Esau comes running up to Jacob, wraps his arms around. He said, what are all these animals? They're, you know, my gift to you. I don't want them. Oh, come on, take them. No, no, no. Yeah, take them. Come on. Please take them. No, no. I've got enough, brother. Oh, no, take them. All right, I'll take them. Now, and, and Esau said, hey, let me give you some men. Come on. Come with me. And Jacob said, no, 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 no. You know, the animals, if we overrun them in one day, they'll die. Like you were going to do. Yeah, Jacob said. Yeah. Jacob separates one way. Esau goes the other way. I don't, maybe that angered Esau. Maybe the children or grandchildren of Esau say, you know, that could have been ours. You know, you look at a map, you see where Edom is. Esau. Esau's Edom. Edom is Esau. That's not very good land. That land is courted in the scriptures in Joshua. That is the land of, I mean, in Deuter Deuteronomy. That land is the land of, of Esau, of Edom. Don't do nothing. Don't touch it. I've given it to the children of Esau. That's not the land of milk and honey. In that case, <clears throat> Esau can say, well, we got the rough deal. No! I hope you enjoyed that, that bean dinner. And I think he got a piece of bread and, and some wine, I think. You know, it's funny because I, I watch the People's Court. It's a very good program to watch. And there are many tons, and every single time I'm getting sick and tired of it. You get these people, they buy this car, and they come to court, the car's broken. The check engine light came on. The muffler came off. The sunroof flew up. It stalled out on the highway. The tires came off. And, and you know, I, I, I went to the mechanic afterwards. You're supposed to go to the mechanic before you paid it. Esau was supposed to look at what he was going to do before he did it and to say, are you telling me there was nothing in the pantries of the house to give him some food? Are you telling me that Jacob had all these animals? Rebecca could find things to make a feast for her husband to be deceived. And you're telling me that Esau couldn't find any crackers or cakes, grapes, nuts? I don't know what kind of food they had. That he is where he is when you look at a map because he said, I'd rather have some beans. And when you look at the Christian today, when they're walking through heaven and they have no crown, they have no rewards, they didn't get a city in the millennium, well, you said all are welcome. You wanted the numbers. You wanted the people to, to like you. 
You wanted this, you wanted that, you wanted these, you wanted them. And then sometimes later on when the day of reckoning comes and you get what you deserve, Esau, Christian, and you sit back and everybody in your, you're angry. Now there's no anger in heaven. Okay, there's no envy in heaven. But I don't understand. What's going to happen when we get to heaven? And there are five crowns. And all five are not for everybody. There is a specific crown for preachers and teachers. Not everybody is going to get that crown. There's a specific crown of martyrdom. Not everybody is going to get that crown. But there's a crown for you just love the Lord Jesus. You want him to come. Everybody should get that crown. But that's not so. There's a soul winner's crown. You're going out there and you watered and you planted. I did it back. Not everybody's going to get that crown. What is it going to be like in heaven when you are in heaven and you have no crown on your head? And here comes walking the Christian that was in your church. And he tried to teach you. He tried to correct you. He gave you a King James Bible. And you wouldn't lesson. And he has earned crowns, plural. I don't know how many. And you have none. What is that going to be like? Well, on earth, it's called the battle of Esau and Jacob. We're going to carry this through. I mean, we talk about America, the Hatfield and McCormick. You know why we talk about the Hatfield and McCormick? Because we don't want to deal with the Esau and the Jacob in Israel. The Hatfield and the McCormick, are, they don't even know why they're battling. I know why Esau and Jacob battled over a pot of lentils. <laughs> And a blessing. And I'm bringing that to you when we get to the future. What are the Esau Christians? And the Bible records in the New Testament, Esau cried, Oh, I want, oh Lord, is there anything amongst these ashes? Lord, you got anything to say to me? Dust pan brew. You want to wave that little smoke injectors off, please? All right, now I'm going to say my name. I, I believe the Lord sent me. Stella, you want to step up? Yes, sir. Put it all down. It's everything. Me, 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 me. Smoke detectors going off. I, I'll have smoke. I got wood hay and stubble. There's gold, silver, and precious stones. There are so many crowns. There are crowns. There they are. And I've been down before my Lord Jesus Christ. And I've been down pick it up. I hear, well done. That Christian before me and that Christian after me, I went into their church and I tried to help them. I tried to correct them. I tried to show them what the best. Why is... I don't, is that what's going to happen in heaven before we all get? Why does he get it? I hated him. He, he, hey, Easter, Easter, it, it's pagan. It's pagan. That music is terrible. That's just wicked. King James Bible. King James Bible. I just hated him. Did you get it well done? No, I didn't. He got it well done. I'm going to give them some cities. I'm going to give them at least one city. I'm going to give them Daytona Beach, Florida. That wicked, vile city that, that, that promotes liquor and drinking. Ah, uh -huh, really? I'm gonna, and I'm going to put you in, under his authority in Daytona Beach so he can tell you people back in Daytona Beach again what Bible is correct, what is correct, and get rid of nonsense and what you have. 
gives him that authority, Esau. Next time you don't sell for, I don't know what's going to be when you sell out. And Christians today are selling out. I heard the other day, uh, we're not going to be doing things for Christ because, because we're, we're, we're going to take the camper out. Really? We're not going to church this weekend, kids. Oh, okay, well, we're going to Disneyland. Yay! All right! And if you go to Disneyland, they have, they have the gay and all that. Like this month, Disneyland has the gay thing all that. Certain days they got gay day. I read that the other day. Hey, we don't have to go to church. I know many, they go on cruises. They came back from the cruise, and this was another church. Styling the, the, the you know the, the, the thorn in, in the Christian side. Comes so you guys enjoy your your, your cruise? Yeah, we went to they, they they take all kinds of cruises. So on that cruise, I mean, did they have shows and music and yeah, yeah it was great. We had oh, you got the shuffleboard. Oh yeah, well we didn't do that. On Sunday, did they have a preacher preaching or that? Oh no, no. Oh. Okay, it's selling out. And so how many years has it been since Jacob and Esau? I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the answer is. I didn't look that up. And they're still feuding. Now, we're not going to feud in heaven, but I don't know what it's going to be like when, when you're a sold-out Christian. and you have, Now, listen, God ain't going to give you crowns and rewards just because, you know, like they do today in sports. That ain't going to happen. But here on earth, look. Esau descendants, Esau is dead, Jacob is dead. Thou remember not thy brotherly comment, I will send fire upon the wall. Wait a minute. He's Edom. Because he pursued his brother with a sword, that's what I wanted, and did cast off pity, his anger tear perpetually, and his wrath forever run that back to the lentils and you know what's the shame a Christian's going to come across and they're not even going to know what I'm talking about you know what you call verse 11 and I'm not trying to make a joke you call that has beans Esau, I mean, Jacob prepared the beans. Esau spooned the beans into his stomach. Esau digested the bean. Esau went potty over the bean. Jacob got the blessing. Jacob's in the land of milk and honey and Edom is down past the Dead Sea. Now Moab gets the Dead Sea. In verse 11, war, sword, no pity, anger, tear, and wrath. And I believe Solomon in Proverbs speaks about offending your brother. He also speaks about offending a man with adultery with his wife. But I will send a fire upon Teman, that's, these are cities in the areas where, and should devour the palaces of Basra. That's kind of interesting. These are enemy of Israel, correct? Correct. 
I can take you to New London County. I can take you to a town named Boswell, Connecticut. Named after a city of a group of people who hated the Jews. Wanna go to Babylon, New York? Do you? Salem, Massachusetts? Jerusalem? Salem, Connecticut? Why are these cities in New England named for cities of the Bible? Because we're the new covenant. We're the new Israel. We're the replacement theology of the congregational church. We can tax the people. We can run the people like God ran Israel. And if you're from the Bible and, and you don't want to go to our system, you're called a separatist. That's Baptist history. Thus saith the Lord for three transgressions of Ammon. Now, Ammon, we, we go north, we skip over Moab, and we're about between Israel and Judah on the other side of the Jordan River. The Jordan River, this, uh, the, 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 the Israel's territory shows on the western side of the Jordan River here Thanks to Reuben, Gad, and half tried to Manasseh. It wasn't supposed to be on that side. But we got to feed the cows. We got to make that great altar to Ed. Amen. You know who that is. That's the child of Lot, the nephew of Abraham. This is all one big happy family. And four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof. Now watch this. This is Lot's children. And we got more, more tomorrow night, Lord knows. This is, this is, I forget if this is the older daughter or the younger. There are two daughters. They're in a cave. They're, they're the first cave people in the Bible. Oonga Boonga. Mama is the molten salt girl on the way to the cave. She turns to salt because she denied what God told her to not look back. But it says, remember Lot's wife. So here's these two girls and their father in a cave and they're like, oh, the world is sodomy. Oh, the world of queer. Didn't sound familiar? They got gay pride in the, in the streets. There's not a man for us. Let's get dad intoxicated. And they got dad so intoxicated until the pregnancy test turned blue. Dad didn't know what happened to both girls. I can imagine the time when their stomach started getting a little big that dad had to have a little talk with them. Dad had a little rebuke with them. He said, Dad, remember that time we got you drunk? As most men will do with a woman at a bar. Habakkuk said, Woe unto them that give, drunk, uh, give drink to their neighbor to uncover their nakedness. That's a license to have food. I've been in the bar rooms. I know exactly what he's talking about. That's Amen. Now I forget that's the older door to the younger door. Because they have ripped up the woman with child in Gilead. So here are pregnant women. And they're brutally, brutally doing an abortion. Taking a sword and... <clears throat> Look at verse 3. Because they have threshed with an it's threshing instruments of iron. Verse 13. They ripped the women with child. 
Can you put one and one together or you can get three? That's abortion. They were ripping the children out of the womb. Pharaoh said, if it's a male child, kill it. If it's a, if it's a female child, keep it. They're saying, I don't care if if she's pregnant. You know what Jesus said? Woe unto them that are with child. Now we assume it would be, you know, medical care, but what if the Antichrist said, I mean it's in the Bible. This is not the first place. What if the Antichrist said if it's a Jewish woman, she's pregnant? I'm not trying to be gross with the sound effect. I don't want to say what I'd rather have a sound effect. That they might enlarge their border. What what they are killing the pregnant women so they can take the land of Gilead. Well, we just read about that. Everybody wants Israel's land. Didn't we just talk about that in Joel? Where, you know, the United Nations is giving up the land? Enlarge the border. God said, that's your land. Deuteronomy. Maybe Joshua. Maybe. And that land belongs to the Jew, Israel. That's my land. I've given it to the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You don't belong there. Now, what would the heathen say to God? Now, if you had a map, you would look at your map and say, Well, God, what is Gad? What is Reuben and the half-tribe doing on our side? And God's up in heaven. Yeah, I know. What are they doing now? So Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh go into captivity before Israel goes into captivity. This is all Bible. But I will kinder a fire. Now look, verse 10, I will send a fire. Verse 12, send a fire. Verse 11, no, verse 10, send a fire. Verse 7, send a fire. Verse 4, send a fire. These are people who are murdering mothers and children, and God says, I will kindle a fire. What do you think God's going to do with America and abortion? And there was worse hatred among Edom, but he says, I will send a fire, verse 12. Verse 14, mothers and babies are being killed. California's on fire. Colorado's on fire. Texas is on fire. Fires in Oregon. My mom was very severe fires, I think, last year. Her church became the outpost for the fire department. Alaska is one of the 50 states of America, and they still got volcanoes that flow every day. You can see pictures. Add gay pride to it. Add there's no God allowed in the school. You want to know why, if anybody's gotten this far into this lesson, you want to know why there's all this violence. You get my, my last video today on the King James Bible, and you listen to the Satanic Bible by LeVay. And you'll see why. You'll see that Satan's in the churches and Satan's in the school room. I will kindle a fire in Rabbah. It shall devour the power, no powers, powers, powers thereof. With the shouting in the day of battle and the tempest in the day of the whirlwind. Ooh, but that's tribulation passage. In the midst of the book of Job, 42 chapters. Job being persecuted by the devil. 
the Lord showed up in a whirlwind. All right, Job, give me some answers. You've been shooting your mouth off. With a tempest, storm, in the day of the whirlwind. And their king shall go into captivity. He and his princes together. God is going to get the president, whoever he is, the House, the Senate. And I believe the, the Supreme Court. He's going to get them all. And he's going to deal with them all. Or he's going to have to apologize to the kings of Israel, the kings of Judah, the kings of Sodom, Gomorrah, and the neighboring cities. The kings of Tyrus. <laughs> Can I just keep on going? You have to apologize to Pharaoh that went bloop, 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 bloop in the Red Sea. For the future of America, I would not want to be president. Because judgment's coming. I wouldn't want to be in the house when the Lord says, okay, it's a day of reckoning. Well, you know, I, I was just, this is my first year. I don't, I don't care. God doesn't care. 